If you visit Salzburg, Austria, and you're one of those people who are quite ambitious and like to visit as many places as possible, it's a good idea to invest in a Salzburg card. Depending on how long you stay at Salzburg, you can get the 24-hour, 48-hour, or 72-hour Salzburg card. From May to October, the Salzburg card is a bit pricier, 29 euros for adult and 14.50 for kids. For the rest of the month, it's 26 euros for adult and 13 for kids. You can get the Salzburg card at almost any hotels, Salzburg ticket offices, the airport, train station, tourist information centers, and also online at salzburg.info. When you have a Salzburg card, you feel omnipotent because you can basically go to all the attractions and museums in the city for one time free. And free travel on public transport, discount on cultural events and tours. So we'll show you how we used our Salzburg card in 24 hours and how much money we saved. We started bright and early at 9 a.m. We're already enjoying the cable car Uttersburg, which costs 25 euros, almost the price of our Salzburg card. We think this cable car Uttersburg is totally worth it because the view from the top is absolutely spectacular. Click here for the in-depth video. Next, we headed to the Hellbrunn Palace and Trick Fountains, which costs 12.50 euros. We think this is worth going because the palace is beautiful, there are a lot of very interesting trick fountains, and the guided tour was really fun as well. Click here for the video on Hellbrunn Palace and Trick Fountains. Next, we checked out the Hohen Salzburg Fortress. You have to take a funicular to go here. The view was also pretty nice from the fortress, and there are several museums to see here. Click here for the video. Then we went to Dom Cartier, which has an absolutely gorgeous cathedral, several museums, and state rooms worth seeing. Click here for the video. The first four attractions are must-go if you have a Salzburg card. Then we checked out Mozart's birthplace. This one was just alright. Unless you're a fan, this wouldn't be too interesting. If you're already a bit tired from walking, you can take the Salzac Cruise. Basically, you just sit in a boat for one hour and you have a different perspective of Salzburg from the sea. Then we pass the Panorama Museum, might as well go inside since we have the Salzburg card. This was quite boring for us, you should skip this entirely. Last but not least, we went to the Sound of Music World, which was alright because we are fans of the movie, but I would say this would be just moderately interesting. There are at least 25 different places you can go to, but these are the ones that we chose. The closing time for most places is around 6 p.m. In summary, all the places we went to cost 101.9 euros, the Salzburg card was 29 euros, so we saved 72.9 euros per person. Plus, we took a few buses here and there, so we actually saved more than that. Despite the fact that it was a little bit hectic, at the end of the day, we felt really satisfied because not only did we see a lot of beautiful places, we also saved a lot of money.